everybody. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lori. Welcome to the Chatty Bookworm. Sorry, I'm kind of like out of it right now. I'm not feeling 100%. What you see there is my 90s vibe that I got from, um, what do you call it? Um, oh god, my brain is messed up right now. It's a book box, <laughs> of course. Oh my god, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a mess. Um, yeah, I'm blinking on the name, but anyways, yeah, it was in a book box that I got, <laughs> um, I got, this is gonna be a book haul, I only have one so far, but I'm gonna be getting some books later today from, um, um, Amazon, <laughs> so, so I thought I would open this one, and then I'll come back with my Amazon ones get here, but I got another book by Ella Wade. I, I'm always getting her books, so <laughs> whenever there's a sale or whatnot, I get her books, so sorry. I have a lot of problems today between being sick. My throat hurts. My body hurts. I'm getting muscle spasms again, so yeah, I'm just not like in the very good headspace. So says destiny is something i buy into but she may i mean something destiny isn't something i buy into but she makes me want to believe let's see if i get this open good i'm a mess right now i think i opened it the wrong way let me, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just a mess. I should have opened it first, but. Mm, yep, there's goodies in it. She always gives such good goodies. I see stuff in here. I don't know what's in it yet. I can't get it up. Can't get it open. Because I suck right now. Like I told you, I just don't have much. I'm just not feeling good. I don't have much energy. So, I am up mess right now. <laughs> this is cute. She always sends such cute stuff. I just love it. How sweet she is. Uh, let's get this. Oh, okay. She always sends you like a cute little package. See? It says, I couldn't do this with, I couldn't do what I love and write stories for a living without your support. I am so grateful for you. Love, Ellie. I'm not sure, like, if this is part of a series. Oh, it's the first book in the Beautiful Souls collection. Okay, so I'm fine. Okay, let's see here. What's in our little goodie bag this time? I think the last one I got had this in there, too. So I have two of them. I just don't know what I did with the other one. But the cute little heart. Okay. Oh, my God. I can't get it. It just looks like that on the inside. But ain't that cute that she sends you, like, a little heart? Okay. Let's see. Books are better than people. Sometimes they are. <laughs> uh, books are magic. Definitely. Um, a kitty one, with a kitty holding a book and sitting on a pile of books. <laughs> oh. Emotionally attached to fictional characters. Yes, that is very true. And get lost in a good book. So cute. I love that. Uh, let me put these back in the thing. Looks like there's something in here as well. Oh, okay, cute. Um, I got the first two in this one from her. And then this is the one that I got, Beard Heart. And these are the other ones. So, and then let's look at the... There's a bookmark with a stack of books. On the back it says, A reader lives a thousand lives and loves a thousand and women. A reader lives a thousand lives and loves a thousand loves. 
<laughs> and, and there's like a little scan thingy for her thing. My hands are shaking so bad. And then this is the little bookmark for the bear. For the one I have. And I guess it might be a quote. I'm not sure if it's a quote or a part or what the book's about, one or the other. So cute. And then it's signed Lots of Love, X and O, Ellie Wade. I'm really excited. Okay. It says Elma Elma Weber. He told me that he'd destroy me. I know he wasn't lying, and I loved him anyways. I believe in love in him. I just wasn't prepared to carry the weight of his demon. I wanted forever with him, but life showed me love was temporary and forever was a dream. Despite everything that happened, even now, I wouldn't change any of it. For I love to have the capability to destroy you. It has to be extraordinary, powerful, and that kind of love is impossible to walk away from. Leo Harding. I warned her that I'd ruin her. I know that I'd taint her innocence with my bad intentions. I was weak. She was perfection. I was nothing. The truth is that I loved her. And I selfishly wanted to hold on to her to be the man she had made me. To the life we could have. I wanted to dance with her in the light despite knowing the darkness would find me anyway. Heartbreak was inevitable. Yet I had, I held on to the silver of hope that I was wrong, that love was really enough, was really enough. Destiny isn't something I buy into, but she makes me want to believe. It's so pretty. Oh, I was already feeling like I'm going to cry and I just read the blurb. And I know she said it's an emotional read, so it doesn't help that I'm not feeling good. So when I'm not feeling good, I cry very easy. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm over here getting ready to cry just reading a damn blurb. I can't imagine what I'm going to be like when I read the book. Oh, boy. But anyways, I'll be back later when I get um, books from Amazon. I love you guys. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I got the rest of my book mail, so. Sorry, I'm still not feeling 100%, 100 and I'm a little nauseous. So sorry if I'm a little, you know, take a little break, but I got my book, so. Already, I didn't grab them out of it yet, but I already opened the things, you know, for I don't have to do it on here. So, let's do the one that's by itself. This one is uh, another hockey. You could tell that I'm really into hockey romances. This one is, I don't remember if this is the Why Choose one or if this is the Mafia one or what it is. <laughs> I have four books. so. <laughs> but it's called Break Out, a Vancouver Nights novel by Kylie Kent. <coughs> Excuse me. Liam. So there's only two, okay. The feeling you get skating across the ice, legs burning, adrenaline pumping. It's unmatched. Mat I mean, much like my current stats. Hockey has always been my sole focus. Get into the playoffs. Winning the Stanley Cup. That's my number one goal. I won't let the fact that I've just been traded to a new team derail, derail I mean, my future. Let's see, I lost where I was. Oh. Nor will the daughter of the so-called King of Canada, a.k.a. my new boss, Avia, the gorgeous festy brunette who's just been assigned as my official babysitter. Although when you're trapped in a room with a temptation like her, there's only so much restraint one man can have. I probably should have listened to the rumors about the owner of the Vancouver Knights being Canada's most ruthless and feared mob boss. Because when he finds out what I've done with his daughter, it's not just my career on the chopping block. It's my neck. Both I'm willing to risk for her to save her. Aaliyah. Aaliyah? I think that's how you say it. When your whole life is mapped out for you, chosen. I mean, choices aren't a freedom you're granted. You do whatever it is you're told to do. 
So when my father tells me he needs me to watch over one of his new recruits, even though spending all my free time with a cocky ass hockey player is the last thing I want to be doing. I agree. Why? Because no one says no to Jacob Monroe. Who lives to tell the tale. Not even me. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, how can hard, how hard can it be? I mean, it's one guy, a hockey player. Liam King, an athlete. Yeah, athlete with a, a physique carved out of stone and a smirk that not only melts my panties off, but sets my whole body on fire. And a pharaoh, and a furrow, I mean, I can't help but give into, and a desire I can't help but fill. He's not part of the plan. He's temporary, dropping in and passing by. I just need to get my heart to understand that I can't he keep him, no matter how much I might want to. I think it's going to be really good, doesn't it? I am so excited for this book. So that's the first one. And then we got this dark, twisty one. This one might be the one that's the white shoes. A Dark Mafia Romance, Her Twisted Savior by J.E. Clooney. Yeah. <clears throat> it says, rescued by the Mafia Mafia Brothers, I'm whisked into a life I could never have imagined, and suddenly fear of my fiancé seems to be the least of my worries. But with three dotted men who's willing, I mean, men who kill, who'd kill for me. I need to decide just who I am and who I want to be. It's the only way I'll survive. I never thought I'd survive the night after I did the unthinkable to escape my soon-to-be husband. And then three men come to my rescue, whisking me up from what could have been my last night on earth and treating me like a princess. But these charming men hide something sinister. Be <coughs> behind their smiles and affection. And when I learn just who it is I'm slowly falling for, I realize I've fallen into a pit of vipers, ruthless men with blood on their hands, and they're, they've coaxed me right into their home and beds. Just when, just what do they have in store for me, and do I have my, any hope of surviving? And it says, when we find the little stray girl, I mean woman, I mean bruised and battered on the ro road, we decide to throw a spammer in the works of this whole laying, laying low while the heat on us just I mean, on us dies down. There's no way we can have, I mean, we could just leave her to die. But she ignites something in us, something that will cage her in with us. Three sinners who would do wicked, wretched, I mean, things both to her and for her. Is she up for the task or will she flee? And if she does, I already know we'll be given chase. Whether she likes her or not, we want her, and we always get what we want. Short. I think it's a duology, and I think it hit, ends on a cliffhanger, so I'll definitely have to get. If I like it, I'll have to get the first. I mean, the, continue with it. Let's see what the notes are. Oh, d domestic violence. I won't say what the other ones are because I know a lot of people think it's twi uh, that it's that it's <laughs> Lori <laughs> that it's spoilers. So we got Veronica. Veronica is it only going to be in Veronica's? Or are we going to have? Oh, we got a Zane. Ooh, I love the name Zane. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one's good. It has a Zane in it. Like I love the name Zane. And then Veronica again. Let's see if we can find the other name Zane again. So far, Veronica and Zane. Veronica again. What's the other guy's names? Is it just going to be them two? Oh, Karen. Kieran. Kieran. Karen. I don't know. K I E R A N. Zane again. And Loren Lorenzo. Okay. But that's that one. Two more. We'll do that one last. Then we got another one by Rena Rena Kent. We got He Ruined Me. I'll destroy him. God of Rune. Legacy of Gods. This one I think is um Um Nikolai's brother. 
Why am I blanking on his name? That's the only reason I wanted it. Because I fell in love with him in the other book. <laughs> but this one, um, it says, I'm out for revenge. After carefully planning, I gave the man who messed with my family a taste of his own medicine. I thought it in there. It didn't. Landon King is a genius artist, a posh, rich boy, and my worst nightmare. He decided that I'm the new addition to his chess game. Too bad for him, I am no pawn. If he hits me, I hit back twice as hard and with the same hostility. He says he'll ruin me. Little does he know that ruination, ruina that ruination goes both ways. Sounds like it's going to be really good. I think it's... Um, uh, uh, from London is 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 um <laughs> God, I'm sorry. You guys could tell I'm a mess today. Landon is Bra Bra Brandon's brother. I think. Yeah, I'm right. What am I saying, I think? I know, and I think Maya, I think that's her name, Maya? Her name, Maya? I'm not sure. But I think the girl might be, um, uh, oh my gosh, Nikolai's sister, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, her name is Maya. I'm not sure who she's related to. Of course, this one's right before God of the one that I read, God of Fury, which was my favorite book of the year. So, yeah. So, I'm curious about this. I'm not sure about how I'm going to like it because I'm sure there's going to be Dubcon. So, I'm not sure how I feel about it. But I really liked him a lot in, in his brother's book. Especially the end. Like, I love him towards the end. That's when I started playing. Let me fall in love with him. Look at this playlist. So I know a little bit about their story, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it has. I think you have to go onto her website to find the, I mean, the triggers. But yeah, it's Maya and London, Landon. So yeah, I'm really excited. I have uh, Jeremy and his... One, which is another person I really started falling in love with when I read God of Fury. That's why I wanted um, both of them. The one with him. I think it's God of Wrath, maybe, is the one with Jeremy. Anyways, and I wanted this one just because those two I really fell in love with. <laughs> so, I'm excited. I hope I fall in love with their books. And then the last one. I really got to clean up my, my bedroom. Yeah, I hear so many people talking about this. So I had to get it. I'm not even sure what this is besides I think it's a romantic fantasy. Maybe? The book of Az Azrael. It's a, by Amber V. Nicole. It's the first book in the Gods and Monsters. Series. I don't know. I just see people talk about it and showing the cover a lot. So I'm not even sure what this is. But it has to do with God's War. A thousand years after the God's War, the other world has known peace, but soon that too will change. An old enemy driven by revenge slowly builds an army behind the scenes. Temples are being ransacked. Ransacked? One ransacked? How you say that word? In search of an item long lost, an enemy since the dawn of time must put aside their differences if they have any hope for a survival. Of survival. So I'm not really sure. There's a Liam. I see a Liam and a Diane. So I'm not sure. Like it doesn't really give you much of a idea of what it's really about, does it? I'm gonna have to like watch somebody to see what they say. I'm very curious. And of course a map, yay! Seriously, you're supposed to be these ancient warriors feared by all, and you flinch? The worst part hasn't even happened yet. 
Okay. I don't know what that means. That didn't give you much of a much of a like idea of what it's about. We at Rose and Star Publishing being inform readers. Please visit our website to find the themes that might be explored in this book. Oh, okay, that's cool. Got like that little thing where you can scan it. But I'm very excited for this, even though I don't really know too much about it. <laughs> but we shall see. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys all later. I'm just like really tired. So, yeah. But yeah, though these and then the one I showed you earlier are the books I got. These all go like go good together. Look at their spines. The other one would go good in this pile. <laughs> but look at all that. Like I am so excited. I think I'm most excited, but Larry at the same time for God of Rune, just because, like I said, I fell in love with Landon towards the end of his brother's book, and we'll get even though I already read their their book, um, Nikolai and and uh, our Nicholas and Brand Brandon, 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 Brandon. I always forget how you say his name. We'll get like little hits of them throughout the rest. I mean, these this series. So yeah, even though they say it's a standalone. Yeah, I'm excited. So this is the one I'm like really excited about. But this one sounds like it's gonna be pretty dark. I'm very curious. To all the readers who keep falling for those hot as hell mortally more I mean moral gray villains, this is for you. Stay sinful. That's what the dedication says. Veronica, I hadn't expected any chance at escaping my own hell to possibly come my last day alive for my for my carefully planned attempt for freedom to unravel and then turn into a complete shit show. <laughs> I just like to read like this sometimes the uh, the beginning to you guys. <coughs> Sorry. See what the first line in this is. Okay, to the psychos, may we enjoy them in fiction, but never encounter them in real life. <laughs> I like that. I don't mind Primal Kink. Let's see. Look, let's read this part. I am out for revenge. After careful plan, and I give the man who messed with my, ta my my family a taste of his own medicine. I thought it in there. It didn't. Landon King is a genius, art, a genius artist, a posh rich boy, and the, my worst nightmare. He decided on the new... Oh, did I already read that in the thing? Yeah, okay, never mind. I already read that. <laughs> I'm losing it, you guys. I'm sorry. Start, chapter one starts with Maya. It says, Tonight, a certain eyesore presence will get a taste of his own medicine. I'm trying to think if she's the one that either doesn't talk. Is she the one that doesn't talk? Or is she mute? I mean, or she's. I can't remember if she doesn't talk or if. Or if she's, uh, you know, where. She, or she can't hear. I know in one of the. In one of the books, it, they have that. It might be in the other book. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what Breakout says. Oh boy, I'm tired, you guys. I am really tired. It starts out with Aaliyah. He's a liability. This team doesn't need Jacob. Uncle Lou yelled at my, fa at my father, hitting the large oval conference table with his fist. My uncle's face is red, the little vein in his forehead pulsing rapidly. I look to my father, who is the complete opposite. And then, for the book of Azel, Azrael, 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> I already read that, didn't you? Yeah, I already read that little line to you. Seriously, you're not supposed to be these, this, you're supposed to be this ancient warrior, feared by all, and you flinch. 
The worst part hasn't even happened yet. I raise my fist once more and connect with his cheeks. This time, his knee whipped to the side, the bone crunching beneath the force of my knuckles. Colbert, Colbert, blue blood splatters across the hardware, hardwood, hardwood floor of the upstairs office in this oversized mansion. The bound celestial in the center of the room shook his head once more before correcting him correcting himself. He stared at me, his bloody his face bloody and his and his eyes bra, his eyebrow eye eyes bra, eyebrow furred furred frowned furred something like that with pain. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm here to find out. I'm here to find out. But yeah, I think I might start read this this month. It just sounds so good. I kind of want to save this one. I have um the one with Jeremy on my on my um TBR for this month. I might save this one for February just so I have, you know, Maybe this one want more, and then I'll decide if I want to get any of the other books in the, from this series. I don't know. And I might read um, this one this month as well. But I don't know. I might save this one. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm sorry this was long. But I feel like doing the long one. And, yeah. Um, I promise pretty soon there'll be other stuff than just book calls. I just bought a lot of stuff recently, so I gotta do my unboxings of everything as they come in, so. Yeah. But yeah, let me know if you've read any of these, if you've heard of any of them. Um, if you read any of them, did you like them? Is there a certain book you want me to prioritize before the other ones? Until next time, you guys know the drill. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <coughs> Excuse me. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below. Whatever else I forgot, um, hit um, the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video is up for your viewing pleasure. And that is it. Until next time, happy readings. Thanks for being awesome. <laughs>